Hey, Brian Truzzi here, Historic Site Supervisor with Chesterfield County Department of Parks and Recreation, standing outside of Pleasant View Schoolhouse. This is one of the last preserved African-American schoolhouses built in Chesterfield County during the segregated era, during the early part of the 20th century. Uh, Pleasant View is uh, an excellent example of early elementary school construction that we have here in Chesterfield County. And this site sits on a two acre lot just beyond the intersection of Cedar Creek Road and River Road. Uh, we are less than two miles from Eppington Plantation at this location here. And during the course of our tour today, I'll share with all of you the rich history here of some of the uh, construction of Pleasant View and compare the construction of this particular school in relation to many of the Rosenwald schools that were built throughout Chesterfield County and the Deep South. Okay, we're standing outside of Pleasant View School and uh, a little bit of background in the construction of schools such as this one here. Uh, many of the schools that were constructed throughout the Deep South and including Virginia uh, during the early part of the 20th century were constructed from funds created by the Rosenwald Fund. And this was actually established by a man by the name of Julius Rosenwald, a Jewish clothier uh, and president of Sears, Roebuck and Company. And Mr. Rosenwald teamed up with Booker T. Washington, president of the Tuskegee Institute. And these men wanted to improve the early education of many African-American children throughout the region here. And thanks to their efforts, starting in 1913 and running through the late 1930s, these men were able to produce seed money that local communities would match, and they were able to build over 5,200 schools, universities, homes for instructors, shop class facilities, and, and various other facilities that many of these localities would have used. It's estimated that close to $70 million was actually set aside for the construction of many of these Rosenwald schools. And those funds would have been available for many localities to use uh, until they were depleted in 1948. Now, while Pleasant View School that sits directly behind me was not itself technically a Rosenwald school, there were six Rosenwald schools constructed in Chesterfield County, none of which still stand today, but the architectural elements and characteristics of this school are very similar to what would have been utilized in the construction of various Rosenwald schools. Now, before Pleasant View School was constructed here, African-American residents in the area indicated that they attended a schoolhouse near this current location as early as 1914. In 1924, the school board purchased a two-acre lot from Peter and Lenny Lee, who had allowed a house on the property to be used as the school. The building stood about 150 feet from the present location of where Pleasant View exists today. Hattie Haskins, Nanny Perney, and Nora Jones all taught at that school. Now in January of 1930, the school board approved the consolidation of the Pleasant View and Winter Park schools. The board agreed to build this new schoolhouse, provided that the patrons donated $300 and the necessary land agreeable to the patrons of both schools. After the patrons failed to agree to the consolidation, the board then approved a two-room building for Pleasant View in March of 1930. On April 30th of that year, the board accepted the low bid of $1,338 to construct the new school. To support the construction, the Pleasant View Building League held fundraisers to support the school and presented a check for $200 to the board. By September of 1930, the building was completed and opened for the 1930-1931 school year. During this transition from the old schoolhouse to the new one, Mary Crawley Brown, teacher and principal at Pleasant View for many years, also taught classes in her home, which sits today 
just a short drive down River Road close to Pleasant View School. Other teachers who instructed here at the school were Alva Patron, Georgia Butler, Lucille Archer, and Gertrude Finn. Ms. Butler also taught night classes for adults who lived in the area. Pleasant View would eventually be closed at the end of the 1946-47 school year. Thereafter, the students would attend Winter Park Elementary. Okay, so Pleasant View School was built of a very simple frame construction and was painted or whitewashed. Now the exterior of the building retains all the original wood siding and the roof. The school was actually raised off the ground, built on brick piers to allow for air circulation and also cut down on moisture control. The school was constructed with numerous windows, which you'll see here, that allowed for natural light as there was no electricity during the time that the school was actually constructed. The interior of Pleasant View contains all of the original elements that you see here. All of the original floors are original, the walls, and even the ceiling. Incorporated in the school design was a large folding room divider that remains today. And this was designed to allow the teacher to start the younger students on one subject, on one side of the school, while the other children would be instructed a completely different subject in the adjoining room. There would have been a very small wood stove in here that provided heat for the students, and each morning before class began, the boys were tasked to gather firewood for the day. Now on this side of the schoolhouse, you'll notice a lot of the other original components here, such as the school desk that the children would have used, the blackboard, and the large divider that actually separates the two rooms here. There would have been a variety of different teachers that actually would have instructed the students here at Pleasant View, but all of the original components that you see here are very similar characteristics to the construction elements that would have been put into building an actual Rosenwald school. And due to the fact that we've been able to preserve all of the original elements of a schoolhouse built in the early part of the 20th century, uh, gives us an opportunity to really reflect and think about the earliest educational aspects that the children would have had during that period. Pleasant View School was built in 1930 and was actually utilized up until 1947. Once the school closed, that would not be the end of its use in the African American community. The Pleasant View Community Association received permission to use the building as a community center. The community association used and maintained the building until it was sold in 1998. As in years as a public school, Pleasant View was the center of community activity from 1947 until that time period. It was the meeting place for the B&B &B Hunt Club, the Chesterfield Braves Baseball Club, and the Imperial Order of King David Lodge No. 64, as well as 4-H and home demonstration classes. The building was used for dance parties and fundraisers for various organizations. At various times, the building was used for billiards, card games, and refreshments. Cookouts were a frequent, frequent opportunity for many of the groups here on the grounds, especially on Memorial Day, the 4th of July, and Labor Day. In the early 1930s, Reverend Willie Matthews held Sunday afternoon Bible classes when weekly services were not held at nearby Tabernacle Baptist Church. Over the years, two different congregations met for weekly services in this building. Evidence of church activity remains today with the presence of several of these pews currently in the building. In the 1950s, the King David Lodge paid for the installation of electrical lights at this facility. In 1998, Pleasant View was sold to a private owner. After hearing community concerns about the sale, the County Board of Supervisors repurchased the property that year. 
It is currently owned by the county's Department of Parks and Recreation. And in 2008, the school was actually moved from its original location, less than 60 feet away, to the present location where it sits today, because the school actually sat on a small parcel of land that belonged to another homeowner. In April of 2014, Pleasant View was officially open for tours as part of the Chesterfield Historical Society of Virginia's historic Winter Park Day Tour. The building has been open annually for tours in May and October in conjunction with Eppington Heritage Day. Tours have been provided by the Historical Society's African American History Committee. In 2017, Pleasant View was listed as a county historic landmark. The county presently has undertaken site improvements to the building. Repairs were made to the windows on the far end of the school to repair leaky window sills and recalk. The front entrance steps and hand railings were repainted and the entire exterior of the school was repainted as well. Upcoming projects for Pleasant View will include upgrades to the electrical service and installation of a new HVAC system to regulate the temperature and humidity year round that will support installation of exhibits for the Historical Society. Further plans call for design and construction of a period restroom facility behind the school, construction of a parking area, and design of a walking trail and picnic grounds on the two acre lot. For more information about tours of Pleasant View, visitors can visit the Parks and Recreation website at chesterfield.gov backslash parks or contact Brian Truzy at 751-4946 or truzyb at chesterfield.gov.